Hi everyone, I'm Steve Coleman, Senior Community Manager here in the Total War team, uh, and I'm here today to talk to you, along with some of the development team, wonderful developers here, look at these people, beautiful faces, <laughs> uh, about the uh, what's next for Total War Warhammer 3, as well as a little look at the future vision for the franchise as well. Uh, now we are endeavouring to be more open and transparent with you guys with everything that we're doing at the moment, so this is a new format that we haven't tried before. We'd love to know your comments and your thoughts about how it's gone, what you think we could do better, so that we can make these videos even more fun and informative for you in the future. Um, but without further ado, let's let's do some introductions. So, Rich, do you want to take us away? Who are you and what do you do? Who am I? Uh, I'm Rich Aldridge. I'm the game director for the Total War Warhammer series. I've been doing this for quite a while now, uh, at least the last uh, 10 years or so. It's crazy how time's flown by, but I love it. Um, it's been fantastic. Uh, listening to all your feedback over that course of time, developing the series, getting in your favourite factions and characters, and we've got loads more to still add. Uh, I'm Sean McDonald, lead designer on the Warhammer DLC team. I've been here a meagre six years compared to <laughs> Rich's 10. Uh, I'd led the Champions of Chaos, Chaos Dwarves, and Thrones of Decay, and I'm looking forward to leading on this project again. So I'm Victor, I'm from uh, Sofia. I'm here now in Horsham to talk to you about Warhammer and more specifically Korn. I've been a friend of the project for a while, Rich, we've been working together. Oh, massive. So I'm here. Well, it's great to have you aboard and uh, yeah. Lots of collaboration going forward on Warhammer. So we'll jump in with a big question. What is the, uh, the vision and ethos for Total War Warhammer 3 moving forward? Well, I think a lot of that has to come down to the fact that you've given us so much important and impactful feedback over, well, I mean, since, since I've started on, 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 uh, on the project way, way back, but more recently, you know, your thoughts on Thrones of Decay. So what we want to do is continue in that mold, continue in that shape, and keep providing you the opportunity, the variety, the options of how you want to purchase Warhammer content moving forward. And that might be an, in, an, like an individual pack, something smaller like you saw with, um, say, Malachi, or the complete bundle, as you saw also with Thrones, Thrones of Decay. The big, the big um, news, if you like, also is that you've shown us where the importance of the game is and that is clear from the amount of campaigns you started and battles you fought the rest of it it's immortal empire so our next dlcs will be focused on ie specifically for our new characters and our and our factions and that doesn't mean we'll stop supporting realm of chaos of course there'll be a lot of bug fixing a lot of rebalancing a lot of uh, making sure all the factions are still great there but we figured out that after a while the story of realm of chaos you know after you've played it so many times kind of becomes uh, you know known to you so we're moving to immortal empires being the the place to be for every faction in the world this gives you options both campaigns are still there to be enjoyed and played um, but yeah we know Immortal Empires is the quintessential Warhammer experience. Let's look at what we've recently revealed, um, the next DLC that's going to be coming and the focal points for those. I would really like it if you could tell me a little bit more about those. Maybe we can start with Ogre Kingdoms. Who wants to take that? So, shall I start? Yeah, go on. Go on. <laughs> Sean's got all the juicy gossip at the end. <laughs> um, right, so Ogre Kingdoms, that's a faction we wanted to touch and improve upon for quite some time. Um, and we're here now, and we're really excited at what we're gonna be able to do and, and bring and flesh them out. Because again, if I look back on my journey, your feedback has always said to me about how can you get these factions up to their fullest? How can you get all the beloved characters and units into it? And that's what we wanna do with Og Ogre Kingdoms now. So I'm really pleased to announce today that our new legendary lord for the Ogre Kingdoms will be Golfag Maneater. Yeah, he's a big hitter. He's one that's steeped in lore. Um, I mean, I know you touched on some of the old editions there, Victor. This guy goes way back as well, and is in a variety of um, different editions, and even the Dog, Dog, Dogs of War army. But, but his, his shtick, if you don't know, is that he loves to roam the world. Um, he loves to go to far-flung places, being given sort of contracts and things to go and do for people. And if you've got a bag of cash, he's more than happy to take it in bolstering out his forces. Go around the world, try different cuisine. Oh, oh yeah. Sales, everything yeah. Incredible. Exactly, exactly. Um, and, you know, we don't just stop with him. There'll be a plethora of new um, uh, characters and legend there'll be a legendary hero. But I do get to um, talk to you a little bit about some of the units that we'll be adding as well for the Ogres, which I think are super cool 
And uh, in fact, one of them is very cool, very cold, very frosty, which is the uh, Thunder Tusk. So that's going to have um, a breath effect on it, which you might um, come to expect with its ogres mounted up high, shooting harpoons in the light. So a big beastie in your army to really flesh things out. Um, there will be some other units as well, uh, just like we've seen in Thrones of Decay. So you can ex expect that same shape and format again. Um, and the other one, which if I'm allowed, I'll, I'll talk about it now, is uh, the Blood Vultures. So this is maybe not a unit you come to expect, because it's not a unit in, in the lore per se, but it's a feature for the Ogre Hunter. We wanted to give the Ogres that kind of aerial, aerial capability, um, so they'll be joy in the fray as well. Very cool, very cool. Victor, tell us a bit about what's coming to Corn. Oh, you know what's coming. You've been <laughs> requesting it in the forums. We know it. Uh, we hear you. And uh, this has always been uh, the case for us to want to do Skull Taker eventually. And here we are. Um, we, there are. we know that there's only one legendary ward in the game right now for Corn. Of course, the second one will bring much needed variety. Uh, so, this is what will be my mission to take this character and uh, do him justice. Uh, portray him the way he is in the lore, which being a corn character, again, you know what to expect. He, if you don't know, let me tell you. He goes to collect skulls uh, from worthy opponents. He collects all the skulls, but those that are really interesting, he adds them to his collection. He adds them to, to, their, uh, to his uh, cloak, which also adds to his power. So when he defeats a really powerful enemy, the way he does in a challenge, he goes and issues a challenge, people come to uh, you know, answer that call, fall uh, beneath him, and he adds their skill to, to his collection, and it, he lets, it lets him absorb the power of that character. So the stronger the enemy, uh, supposedly the stronger the power that he absorbs. So we can see how this could be lead to some sort of more snowboarding gameplay, perhaps. You don't need to be an experienced game designer like <laughs> those two to, to imagine what the gameplay will be like. Uh, we'll be adding a few new units to Korn as well. Uh, Heroes Wars, you can expect. Uh, for example, there will be a great monster that Sean can tell you a bit more about. Yeah, so we've got the Slaughter Brute on the way. So we've obviously seen the Mutilar Vortex piece where we did Shadows of Change and we thought, well, we need to get the less magical and mystical and far more bloody and gory and uh, <laughs> aggressive and all the classic horn traits and a big beastie. So we're bringing him along for the journey. So yeah, there's one to be excited about. Yeah, it's nice to, it's nice to add this content now to Korn. You know, we've been through Zinch. We've been through Nurgle, we're now at Corn. Don't worry, Slanesh fans, we'll get to you as well. It's all in our great plan. Um, and uh, yeah, Victor's gonna have a lot of fun painting the town red with this. Yeah, you know we want to do them all. You know, we, we've, we've read the books, Game Social has given us so much throughout the years, and if it's up to us, we'll do it all. It's just a matter of in what order, so you could definitely help us prioritize that with your you know, talking with us. Sean. Are you going to tell us a little bit about orcs and goblins? I can tell you a little bit about orcs and just goblins. Just a little yeah. bit. Just a smidge? Just a, just a tiny... Tiny bit. Crumb. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the... That's enough. <laughs> Great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> 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 yeah. So since uh, Rich and Victor have told us that the legendary lords are for the other cultures, uh, we're looking at Gorbad Ironclaw for orcs and goblins as our big hitter, one of the most iconic and successful orcs to ever traipse through the Warhammer world. Uh, one big thing that we took from feedback on Thrones of the K mm -hmm. was that having the units and the roster feel attached to the Lord that is representing them in the DLC is super important. So like Elspeth representing all the norm, yeah. et cetera. So with Gorbad, we thought he's the perfect character to let us bring in a variety of orcs and goblins because there's a, there's a sprinkle of orc and a sprinkle of goblin and a little bit of squig over here. And who can unify them but the, the single best commander that actually used strategies and used wolf riders, used squigs, used orcs and goblins all in conjunction. He's the perfect uh, poster boy, poster orc, <laughs> uh, so that we can get the, the best and most exciting roster in. And uh, some, some colossal beasties maybe uh, on the, on the uh, journey there with him as well. Mm. Yeah. yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun with them. We know, we know that, um, you know, Greenskins and orcs and goblins are in a really good, good state at the moment, thanks to your feedback. We've still got a few little tweaks and fixes we want to do to things like WARS, where, where we can. But um, as Sean said, there's just so much variety in, in, um, in this faction that we really want to try and get as much of this as, uh, to you as soon as possible. So, you know, maybe along the way there might be a few little, 
sne sneaky surprises as well that we can drop for you. Nice. I like surprises. Very cool. Uh, a big question that comes up whenever we do DLC, uh, as I'm sure you're aware, is free content. Now, you know, we have our, uh, our process where we always release some free LC alongside the DLC. Um, what's, the, what's the approach going to be with the next one? What, are we able to talk about what we've got mm. coming? Yeah, I think, I think so. I think so. So we went back to the old formula on Thrones of Decay. Um, it was quite clear that we needed to add legendary laws back in. Don't get me wrong. I think, I think um, a lot of people still enjoy the legendary heroes and they have their place. And we're still looking to continue with those. But legendary laws provide you that new experience. You know, you get, you get to have um, a fresh take on things. And Epidemius, I think, um, was one that we all enjoyed making. Um, and just a little twist on, on what, he, what he could offer. So the focus again with this content, and as we touched on earlier, with the content going forward is Immortal Empire. So you can expect to see um, the character appear there. And one to get Victor very excited about is gets yet another corn character to add to the fray. So we, we're doubling down on corn on this one. We really want to make sure that corn, you know, gets to have its moment in the spotlight. And again, as I mentioned earlier, don't worry if you've got other factions that you want to see some attention to. They are, they are going to get their, their time in the sun. Very cool. I look forward to seeing the, uh, the guesses and speculation oh, uh, across the community soon. Please, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So we've spoken a lot about this uh, current content, what we're working on now, this newly announced DLC. Um, is there anything you can tell us about the plan moving forward for future DLCs after this one has arrived? Yeah. So. The feedback that we've had from everybody has been super useful in kind of uh, getting us on the right path. And I think giving you the content that you want to see and, and, and an experience in the game. So very much like what we've, we've just uh, announced here with this latest DLC and then what we saw prior with Thrones of Decay and even Shadows of Change. We want to get, first and foremost, all those Chaos God factions out to you. So you can expect to see Sunesh in the future, but also the shape and mold as well to continue in this same vein. So offering the three different factions, three different experiences, um, boosting out you know the units and, and heroes and things and offer in that regard. So yeah, um, that variety that uh, um, you've all given us so much positive feedback on, we wanna, we wanna keep harnessing and, and creating and moving forward with. And then beyond that, well, you know, the Warhammer world's our oyster, so to speak. Um, there's lots and lots of content still out there. There's factions that we haven't touched upon in quite some time. And it's kind of a reason for that. So, um, yeah, Vampire Count fans, don't worry. Don't worry. You'll be good. Um, Norska fans, again, you know, we want to come back there and, and address things to do with the monster hunts. Um, just to name a couple. Uh, I mean, my favourite is still the lizard men. We can do something about the, ge the geomantic web. Fingers crossed, Sean. Um, you know, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Time. Um, but yeah, legacy content is super important. So if we haven't done anything in a while, just know it's in our plans. We've got a long, you know, um, journey ahead ahead of us. Lots of exciting content to to add to the game. Um, if it exists, we would love to make it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, hopefully, one day um, we'll, we'll see. You know my beloved halflings but let's <laughs> let's see let's see no promises yeah i know you'd make everything if you could wouldn't you if i could yeah. no Forever. chaos guilt left behind yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> um and you touched on it here as well and we mentioned it in the development update that we did before but um looking back at like the legacy content and the game as it currently is as well um i know there's a a want to kind of freshen up what's already there um, I don't know, Sean, do you want to tell us a little bit more about what the kind of expectations can be there? Yeah, I, I, can, I can work on that for you. So yeah, so far we've only really done um, bug fixing in the interim patches between our point .0s. So going up to 6.0, uh, we're planning to bring in some, some smaller additions as well. So things that you would normally see in a patch, uh, including things uh, such as like the reworks that you might expect to come with a, with a big point zero drop. Uh, such as like the cults, so we're going to take a look at them. Uh, and then even beyond reworking, we might try and add some new content to create some new fresh experiences that, again, you would usually be waiting for us to drop a DLC, but we want to try and give all of the, the races a little bit of love as, if we can. And we've obviously said it's ogres, corn, and orcs and goblins for this one, but you know we, we know everyone's got their favorite and we want to try and uh, touch, uh, touch it across the game where we can. 
So you're saying we're not just adding to the new races that are coming with the new DLC, but also to previous ones scattered here and there. Basically? Exactly, exactly. Uh, and, and I think the big thing is feedback. So if uh, you know, if if you say you're you're missing something or you'd love to see something, we will try to 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 bring it in where we can and make sure every single experience in the game is at that same level of quality that we've uh, we strive to hit. We strive yeah, to hit, yeah, yeah. We we enjoy it. We we enjoy creating the new as much as reworking some of the old. We've been doing this for quite some time now and you know to be in this position where we can go back and reimagine things, improve things is you know all thanks to you um, in supporting the game so yeah please continue to send in your ideas. Maybe we can make it, maybe we can't but there's no harm in just suggesting it to us. Awesome. Yeah, I know that's going to be music to a lot of our players ears as well knowing that that stuff's coming down the line so. Win-win. I'm going to expect to see a lot of speculation, a lot Please? of a lot, <laughs> a lot of suggestions, a lot of demands. Is there anything already that we we can say about when this DLC is likely to be arriving? The team is hard as work. We're having fun working on it. I hope you'll have fun as well when it comes out. When? Yeah, well, we've got plenty more to do, plenty more skulls to be reaped, lots of meat to be taken, and uh, some big wiles to be generated. So we're looking at the back end of the year. Yeah, the, these projects are quite big. I mean, Thrones of the K-style DLCs, they take a long time to make sure we hit that right quality level, which is why we're so, so intent on making sure the patches hit and keep the, the game alive. We don't want to go a long period where uh, you know, it can feel stagnant, and that's why we're, we're looking to do these reworks and these additional contents in the interim. Thank you for joining us for our Total War Warhammer 3 development update today. Uh, in terms of our next communications, we're going to be looking at coming back to you hopefully around late summer with an update on what we're working on. Uh, in the meantime, keep coming to us with your feedback, letting us know uh, what your thoughts on, especially things like this mm. format. This is new for us. This is a new thing that we've done. Uh, we'd love to know what you thought about it. Uh, we really want to make these videos as, as fun and informative for you as we can. Uh, and your feedback helps us to do that. From all of us here at CA and the Total War team, thank you and bye. Enjoy. Enjoy.